You just have to do something which you shouldn't do. Lift your right and say, Father, Father. Oh, tonight, oh, tonight, save me. Save me. In, the In the name of Jesus. Lift your voice. Say, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. In this month of God. Oh my God. Tonight, come to my rescue. Because the waters have risen up. In the name of Jesus. Oh God. I need your help. My enemies wrongfully they hate me. But my God you can restore me in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice and clap your hands and pray like tonight to move Christmas. Lift your voice and begin to start to talk. Lord, I need your help. I need divine intervention. Don't look at anybody tonight. You know what you are going through. You know the forces that have confronted you. Maybe your story like is like David. Maybe yours is not like him. He said, those who hate me without the cause, they are more than the hairs of my head. Sometimes people just don't like you. You have not wronged them, but they hate you for no reason. I wish you can pray, my brother. I wish on this fourth night of the confession, you will provoke me your spirit to speak to God. Make it all I am ready with my prayer. You have cried and cried and cried. He come up as a prayer. He lay for Shadarapa. Lift your voice. He lay for Shadarapa. He lay for Shadarapa. He come up as a
We can take it into prayer. Oh, say amen. 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 Because it is prayer that activates the power of the word in your life. Say amen. Amen. Oh God, they will say, you know my folly and my plundering, my sin and my guilt are not hidden from you. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Let not those who wait and hope and look for you, O oh Lord of hosts, be put to sin through me. Hallelujah. Amen. Sometimes there are people who are looking up to you. There are people who are trusting that you will break through so that they can also break through. Say amen right there. Amen. And you must be aggressive. Sometimes you are not fighting for yourself, but you are fighting for the people who are looking up to you. Then he said, let not those who wait and hope and look for you, O Lord, be put to say through me. Let not those who seek and inquire of the Lord be brought to confusion and dishonor. Hallelujah. Amen. Can you pray that prayer tonight? Oh, I say, can you pray that prayer tonight? Yes. Yes. Can you be provoked and tell yourself, I cannot fail. If I fail, my sister has failed. If I fail, my brother has failed. Failure is not an option for me. Clap your hands and begin to pray. There are no more prayers here.
have to go and you know, there are some people because of their relationship, if the one is tight, they have to squeeze. So I woke up early in the morning to go and reach there. And I'm from that place right now. I said something I want to say again. There are two kinds of people, either it's in preaching or any state performance. There are people when they come, they need motivation for people. You know, there are some musicians, when they come, they are not people, they come to they say, oh, okay, shout, shout, shout. Yeah. And preachers do, they will be putting pressure on people to say amen. I invited one Nigerian, he said, you are people are dull. I said, hey, but if there's a, a reason for them to say amen, they will say amen, they are waiting for that point. <laughs> and uh, there are also other people who don't take inspiration from the people to perform. They rather inspire the people. And so I don't really take inspiration from people. I inspire them. I don't need motivation from people. I came to motivate you. Yeah. 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 I've seen people say that. I don't know what I told you. They God told me some time ago that when you go to a place, it is not how many people came, yeah. but it's what happened to the people who came. Mm-hmm. That's what God is looking at. God is not looking at that. who came. God is looking at what happened to the people who came. Mm-hmm. Praise the Lord. Yeah. 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 Yes, I've learned this in ministry. That when you go to church or you have ministry and you think the people, the crowd is not big, so you minister anyhow, mm. the number, the small God has given you will disappear. Yeah. So when you think you don't have enough, that's when you need to motivate yourself. Mm. So the day I go to church and I don't see people, it tells me that if I want people to come next week, I need to up my game. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. You know that, I don't know if you are a preacher. There's a tendency that when you go to church, you were expecting, say, 100 people. You go there, two people there. Some pre- preachers will say, well, then I will change my message. I'll preach it next week. I tell people, no. The one person who came, he needs a message. Yeah. And I have to tell my people, you've been the only ones here. Yeah. Only ones. I have to tell my people that this idea of God, let's pray for those uh, in their home, the Holy Ghost bring them. I say, cancel it. You can pray for traveling mercy for them, but say for God to bring them. And that prayer shouldn't take too much time. Uh, Holy Ghost, bring them all. I said, no, concentrate on those who are here. Yeah. Let them be blessed. And forget about those who are not here. Everybody say amen. 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 I have a short message. It should be done in the next few minutes. Yeah. But I know, you see, this is what is my spirit, man of God. Anytime you are preaching, the whole message, yeah, whether it takes me some one hour, one life for somebody. Mm. One life. And so the person can go home uh, you can go to church, you can go to church, somebody says, I didn't hear anything. But somebody, even as you're going home, you are blowing in tongues uh, because something will say that is for you. Amen. And that's why, preacher, don't waste your time somebody is not saying amen. The day is not for the person. So, sister, you are quenching my spirit. You, know, you can quench my spirit. I mean, that somebody <laughs> saying that. Oh, you are quenching my anointing. You are quenching. I said, don't say that. The person you are ready to motivate the person. Yes. The Bible says we preach in season and out of season. Yeah. Somebody say amen. Yeah. So I came to motivate you. I came to judge you. I came to lift up your spirit. I came to turn your situation around Hallelujah. in the name of Jesus. Amen. And I came to tell the devil that he's a liar. Let us say you are. No, but the man of God before you are you who are doing things that are bigger than you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So God wants somebody to do things that you think are bigger than you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 And I pray for you in the name of Jesus, by the power in the blood of Jesus. He who has done a good work will bring it to a perfect end. May this service be your service in Jesus' name. Amen. Lift up your two hands. Open your mind and begin to bless God. The service might not be for everybody. I just and I want to bring this to the Lord and let me tell my story. Change my God. Yes, Sabana Bokarasa. 
it will manifest in your life in Jesus' name. Yeah. I am not talking to everybody ah, I because am. I know the message is for somebody. Yeah. Receive yeah. it in the name of Jesus. Yeah. 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 I didn't to chat before when somebody said, oh, yeah, I didn't hear anything. Oh, my wife said nothing. And somebody is going, who can't even talk. Why is your church very powerful? Yeah. My God. Because elephant, you elephant me. Yeah. Everybody say amen. 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 God is speaking to somebody. Amen. Say I am unstoppable. Talk to me. Say I am unstoppable. Say I am unstoppable. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Somebody clap for Jesus. Oh, thank you, thank you. When I went there, one of God, I went to show a city because the last I was there recently, and I had plot, but all the plot I have, they are far away from town. And I didn't know one in town. I've been working on a particular one for a long time. They were not giving it to me. So I was about to change my mind. So when I went to Pastor Kobe, the one, he says he knows you very well. He remembers your feet. I know whether you can remember him. That he was white. And uh, I saw a seed when I went to preach there the last a few months ago. When I came, oh my God, I didn't call him. The language to the chief called me. The chief said we should release the land to you. Wow. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So, we are trusting God that our December program will be doing there. If you are unable to do it, maybe next year. But we are trying to uh, uh, beat time. And so today, when I went there, I saw the seed again. That's what I want. So I realized that when I went to my people church and I saw seed, it works. Amen. Okay. Everybody say amen. 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 And so I saw that one there already because uh, uh, we need to, we are still on it. We put the pillars and we will move it, but we still need to do it. Please, there is power in giving. Yeah. Amen. First, I want to send this uh, one coming. We'll be jumping. Who's reading for me? First Samuel chapter uh-huh. seven. First Samuel chapter seven verse one. Yeah. The man of Perja Jerim yes. came and fetched up the ark of the Lord and brought it into the house of Abinadab in the hill. Mm-hmm. And Samuel you know the story about how they went to war and during the battle, the battle was against them. So they decided to bring the ark of the Lord to the camp. When they brought the ark of the Lord to the camp. The enemies were afraid. They started shivering because when the ark ark was brought, the Israelites shouted. But then you realize that even the man of God was thinking about it. They were afraid, but they still went to fight the Israelites and they won it against the Israelites. I was thinking about it because when the ark was brought to the camp, they said, This is the God that destroyed the Egyptians. We are dead. And said, Philistines, let us encourage ourselves. So they went and they Lost the battle. The Israelites lost the battle. And these people took the ark away. When they took the ark away, they went to put it in the house of Dagon. I've been investigating this because it's a series of preaching in church. Only are putting them together. Why did they put it in the house of Dagon? They realized that the ark was no more powerful. Mm. Oh, we have defeated them. If there is their God is alive, why did their God allow us to take the ark? They took it and they placed it in the heart of that. But then the point is, when God is dealing with his people, don't take advantage of it. Wow. For example, yeah. the fact that you pray, you didn't get anything. It doesn't mean you are God is not alive. It doesn't mean I can mess up with you. Yeah. You are a Christian. Because you pray over something you didn't get, or because you are having some challenges. Some demon might think they can attack you and kill you the life back. Yeah. Because you see, whatever problem you are having with your God is between your God and yourself. Yeah. So they took it to the house of Dagon. And the Bible said when they woke up in the morning, Dagon had fallen. My God. Tomorrow morning, may every care fall. May the heart of the enemy fall. May the heart of fall.
of Israel, God will deal with the people. God has a reason for allowing them to be defeated. So if you are bystander, stop talking. Yeah. Okay. When God is dealing with it, for example, he's a man of God. He's having challenges, either financial challenges or marital challenges or issues. You might think because of what he's going through, he's not powerful and you mishandle him. Be very careful because the power of God can crush you. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Yo, oh, this one, you. He doesn't have any power. He doesn't even he have a car. He's not powerful. Be careful. That's the mistake. The Bible said when they woke up in the morning, Jacob had fallen. And sickness came upon the people of the land. The act was still powerful. But God would deal with his people. You know, it's come on, man of God. You can be having your own challenges. God is dealing with them, with you. And people might begin to take advantage. Against any man of God going through challenges, the power of God can crush you. Yeah. Because you see, whatever mistake the man of God has made between him and his God, leave them to solve it. Everybody say amen. 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 Everybody say amen. 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 Bible says in the process of time, the Israelites had challenges and difficulties. But I want to concentrate on this point because if I want to preach from that point, it's going to take a long time. Let's just say so. They were there together on the land after the hour of capture in the process of time. Ellie died. Ellie two son died. And someone had come to replace them. But they decided to go back to their goal. There's something there. You see, you can steal and not be a thief. You can steal and not you can kill and not be a murderer. You see, you can make a mistake. Whether you become a murderer or not depends on what you do after your first offense. The enemy might tell you, oh, I know why you're here to us. I know people who just took one accord and they decided that I'm not going to church again. And anytime you do that, when I was about eight years ago, oh, that was very active in our, our church. Methods. You know, John Wesley, I was over there. I stopped going for some reason I don't remember. Then because of that, why I couldn't go? My mother would wake me up because we were supposed to go there every day, 5 a.m. I'll go there, I'll feel shy to enter. Why is he not come? Not coming. And when I enter, what are they going to say? So anytime you do something, the enemy might tell you, oh, continue. Now God will not accept you. The devil is a liar. You need to take a decision and say, I am going back to my God no matter what. Yeah. Listen, if you don't pay tight, it's difficult to start paying tight. It's very difficult. And everybody too is hot. You need to break the chains one day. So they said, no, it is time to go back to God. And the Bible said they gathered together and someone came there and they said, someone said, if you can go back to God, God will take you back. Yeah. Yeah. Some of you might not know. You see, the prodigal servant, daddy was waiting for him, but he didn't know. And the Bible said, daddy saw him from afar and daddy ran to him. There are some of you, it doesn't matter the mistake you have made. If you decide to go back to God, I'm telling you, there are some people who have done something, they feel so dirty they don't want to come back to church. And you don't know that he's waiting for you. That he just wants you to make a decision and you meet you have the hard way. So someone said, if today you turn to God, God will turn back to you. If you make a decision, it doesn't matter that because they were fighting, they brought them out to the camp and they didn't lost the battle. That cowboy. The Bible say, someone said, if today you throw away Astra and that one and those are bah, God will come back to them. You know? And they said, we've committed ourselves back to God. We now have decided to walk with God. We have nothing to do with Astra and those shrines again. We want to go back to God. And the Bible says it, they decided to meet and sacrifice to God. That's what they're coming to talk about. Talk about. They said we are going back. Tell yourself I'm going back. 
I used to pray a lot. I don't pray again. I am going back. I remember those days in fellowship day. Who, who was in Ashu in secondary school? Everybody who was in Ashu in secondary school is fireman. You see, yeah, yeah. even when they pass they come back. Yes. You was it. You see, when I was in my village, we used to go to uh, Ashu. Ashu is also only in secondary school. When it came, it was in communities. And I was part. We didn't have light. So the white people who came to my village brought some tape. You have to wind it like this before you come. Have you seen it before? You wind it like this. And we went there and we were only praying for the Holy Ghost baptism. Mm. It was when I grew and I came to set in Kumasi and I realized you go to church to go and pray for more marriage and money and those things. In the, in the village, you don't need money. You go to your farm, you are cranked grass cut, then you take it, you take your cassava, you come and eat. You stay in your one room, that is all. Christmas, you go and weep for your in law, you don't buy anything for them. When it's a uh, farming time, you go and weep. So when you are getting married, you marry somebody, you show them, no problem. It's when we came to Kumasi, we realized that things were different. The people decided to go back to God. And they said, now we are going back. I don't know, maybe this message for somebody. It's time to go back. The prodigal said, Now, what am I doing here? I don't belong here. Have you been to a place before you realize that ah, I'm an alien here? I don't belong to this place. This is not my area. The Lava was so good by my Jesus. You see, people who were in SUN, when they pass light and the ghost, they still feel uncomfortable. I don't belong here. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, I'm coming back. And they decide to come back to God. Verse 10. Start to verse 10 for me. Maybe start from verse 9 or 8. Start from 8. Let me see. From verse 8. Uh -huh. And the children of Israel said to Samuel, uh -huh. Cease not to cry unto the Lord mm. our God for us, uh -huh. that he will save us out of the hand of the Philistines. You see, when you read from the top, eh, when the Philistines realized that the children of Israel wanted to go back to God, they didn't like it. Mm. I think mean, somebody said, when I was in the world, I used to get a lot of money. Direction I'll do, I'll be the first to do. My senior pastor to one time on he said, Look, before we enter the chapel, give me all your money. <laughs> because your money is what you are using for transportation back, and I want the money to spend it. The Bible said, while they were offering God thunder, mm -hmm. I want to show this to 26. Who is joining me? Who is joining me? Take your 26. Who is joining me? And the Lord thundered. Ah. If you are not my enemy, congratulations because as I do this, God will thunder upon my enemy. Amen. Amen. So if not, you are not my enemy, you are safe. Amen. If you have thanks, you can join us. Thanks, you join us. If you want a loan, come and see me. If you want thanks, you can join us. Father, in the name of Jesus, we are praying, we are praying in the name of Jesus. Lord, as they sow a seed, you thunder. Okay, but as I'm doing the thunder, it upon my end. My father's house and my mother's house. Thunder, thunder, thunder. Look, I will tell my people that when I was in the village, I used to go to the church money is the second highest before other people. So I'm the highest. And ministers, I know you also use your personal money for you. That's how it is. Who is joining us? Hence, you join us. I want everybody to join us. Okay, first, you join us. You need to turn down. You know some people have gotten that. Are you the one I know? Lampy. Are you the one? Oh, okay. Where is your sister? Where is she? I'm here. Ah. Is that your sister? I know. Yes. No, are you two or three? One of them was working in a restaurant or something like that. You are the one in eh? old age, you are forgotten all of us. I realize that I'm getting to be heavy now. And I pamper the gray hair. I, I pray it will not fall down. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I was young, you are still preaching when I was 25. And I didn't like this idea of suffering the twine. I didn't like it. So I wanted to grow quickly. So I remember my first with ID card. I had to add some 10 years to it. I didn't like the idea of suffering the twine. And look at my size 12 and my A combined. But when I, grew, I got to 14 years and I had the confidence, I started telling people, I'm not an old man. The Bible says, God damn them. Who is joining? Okay, whatever you have. I want everybody to join. Whatever you have, they can join us. The distance, so if I meet you, I don't meet you. My thing is, I, I sometimes struggle to make people out. Like I was asking you, Familia, why is that my son, the one who was in the bank? The Bible says, and who, who is written the best? You can for us. You are holding your seat. Who is reading for us? One of your read. Verse 10. Verse 10. Uh -huh. And as someone, someone was offering up the bread. As we are offering the sacrifice. The Philistines drew near. And that every time you want to sacrifice, you see them. But the Lord thundered. Not no more thunder, great thunder. On that day, lift up your sheet. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. With this seat. With this seat. Thunder. Thunder. Upon my enemies. Upon my enemies. Thunder. Thunder. Upon my enemies. Upon my enemies. Thunder.
the only one. Father, give all to me in Jesus' name. No. Tomorrow, those who will bring it, give it to them. Give it to you. This one is like a I'm giving my own today. Not because I want you to give it to them. You put one city inside and bring it. If you don't have enough, go home and bring it. Put 50, 100, you know, something higher. Father, in the name of Jesus, the Bible says, give and it shall be given unto you. The same measure, pray down, shake it together, run it over. As we are giving, bless us back in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And then, uh, who is not coming tomorrow? It's alright, I'll put you inside. Who is not coming tomorrow? So I give you Asiat. If you don't raise up your hand, it's a taboo not to come tomorrow. So let me see. Are you not coming? On the one it is. Speak into my ears, be mine. Man of God, get this communion wine tomorrow. We are going to work with communion wine. Let's work on it. Who else cannot come? Lamp, are you coming tomorrow? Are you coming? Are you coming? Mama, are you coming? If I ask you this question, it's like asking the uh, Pope, are you a Catholic? <laughs> if you ask the Pope, are you a Catholic? That's the question. Tomorrow is going to be very powerful. Amen. 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 And then, uh, if, seriously, if you don't have enough money to go, you need to, let's talk. Sure. Because I feel, get your confidence. I think so, man of God, don't worry yourself. <laughs> don't worry yourself. I don't want to worry you. Praise the Lord. Amen. The moment you get that certificate, more avenues will open to you. Let's have your right hand. Have you taken our offering already? You have taken offering already. This man of God is good. I'm not pastor to go. Oh, man of God, you are taking But if you are allowed to take more, <laughs> I said, no. Let's not bury them too much. I prophesy over this hand that I'm listening. But God will drop money into it. Amen. Will drop marriage into it. Amen. Will drop financial breakthrough, marital Amen. breakthrough, fruit of the womb. Whatever you are waiting for and trusting God for, receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 When you go home, you can write that scripture and pray with the first Samuel 7 tender God. Thunder upon my enemies. Thunder upon my enemies. God bless you. I love you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Amen. Yes. As for today, we will we'll spare ourselves. Hallelujah. Yes. Tell somebody, forgive us. Forgive us. But it's worth it. Amen. Amen. Tomorrow, even if I have an invitation anywhere, I'm not going. Hallelujah. Amen. And I'll be here by 5:30. I'll be here praying. Tomorrow actually is the last night of the convention. Pastor. Hallelujah. Well, oh, let's clap. Let's do it better for the man of God. And let's put our hands towards the man of God. Let's just begin to pray. And, 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 pray. and pray that the hand of God will be upon him. May God grant him gently mercies. Go to pass with tear back. Yeah, just pray that God's grace will strengthen him. God's grace will strengthen him. The reason I'm motivated tonight is that somebody can come on. He drove to Sogako, came to Dodoa, went back to Tema before coming back here. And he's not tired. Why should I be tired? Open your mouth and pray for grace. Ask God for grace. We are coming to a place where our strength will not fail anymore. In the name of Jesus. In the name. May God favor you, man of God. May God go before you. In the name of Jesus. And begin to pray right now, even for tomorrow. It's a convention. If we're hiding in some forest and we're pouring and we're going to get to then we sleep and wake up tomorrow. But we are going back home. Pray for grace and ask God. Lord, I am going back home. I am not leaving your presence. Prepare me for tomorrow. Open your mouth and pray. I see tomorrow as the grand finale. I see tomorrow as a, a major part of this meeting. I see tomorrow as an open heaven meeting. You are praying that somebody will not miss it. You are praying that there's somebody who the devil will fight from coming here tomorrow. But may God grant that person grace to overcome. In the name of Jesus, pray ahead of tomorrow. Pray